continuing our team coverage now in Bell County, where Channel 6 news reporter Imani Payne is joining us from the Bell County Expo Center. Hi, Imani, what can you tell us? Doug and Lisa, many people are still here tonight, some celebrating, some disappointed as more and more local election results are starting to pour in. And the Congressional Texas 31 race, John Carter, is still pulling ahead of Mike Clark. Last we checked, it was by about 30 percent, 62 to 33 in Bell County. In the Texas House District seat 54 race, Scott Cosper is beating Blankenship by just 2 percent in Bell County at 51 to 49. But his campaign has already called land passes. We talked with for just a short while ago, and he says he feels confident that he'll take home the win. We couldn't be more happy to be here tonight at the pinnacle of the of the whole process and to see that the citizens and the voters have given their confidence or shown their confidence in me. I want them to know that I'm going to be present, I'm going to be accounted for, and I'm going to serve them as best I possibly can. Now today also happens to be Cosper's birthday and he says continuing to get to serve Central Texans would be a great way to end today. Live in Bell County, Imani Payne, Channel 6 News. Pretty appropriate to have a birthday on Election Day. There you go, being a politician. Could go either way though. Yeah, <laughs> it could be a good birthday, it could not be. That's a close race. That's 51-49 there. Speaking so. of close races, the electoral vote.